Hello and welcome to lesson 8 of the Beginner's Guitar Bible. Um, this time we're taking a little look at some finger picking uh, style with a piece entitled Finger Picking Good. Um, the main idea here is to get your right hand involved without using the pick and we're trying to uh, get a continuous movement uh, whilst moving through some of the chords that we've learned. Um, so I'm going to get, get started straight away. Um, we're going to start with a D chord okay in with your left hand which you should be fairly familiar with now so you're holding down the D chord and we're just trying to get a nice motion with the right hand we're using our thumb our first finger our middle finger and our third finger I've just labeled them um, T one two and three to keep it simple okay and when you're striking the string you're striking the string with your thumb and you're pulling it you see with my finger I'm pulling it away okay um, away from the strings, okay, I, I'm using my thumb there, obviously there, and then with my remaining, remaining three fingers, I'm going to pick each string, and if I switch like that, you can see, hopefully, that my thumb picks like that, my finger picks, and it picks into the palm of my hand, the same as my second, and then my third, so you get this, okay, so you're going from fourth string, third, second, first, and then you're going to come back up, second, um, third, okay, so it's, Four, three, two, one, two, three. Okay, and that's what we're trying to get going, that motion. Okay, I'm going to do that twice, then we're going to change to a G chord. Okay, so it's a G chord. We're going to switch the thumb up to the sixth string. Okay, so the thumb goes to the sixth string, then I'm playing, again, the top three strings exactly the same. Okay, then we're going back to the D for two. And then we'll arrive back to the G. Okay, now after that, um, we're going to go to the E minor, okay? So I'm forming an E minor with my left hand, and my thumb stays on the sixth string. And again, I'm now, I'm going to, so I'm now I've got an open string there, because that's the E minor shape. Then I'm going to target the top three strings again, exactly the same counting to six each time. Then that arrives to our new chord, which is an A. An A is this one here where you've got like a cluster all in a row on the A chord. So you've got um, second fret, fourth string, third string, and, and second string, okay? And this time your thumb's gonna start on the fifth string. Okay, and again, these three fingers, these three fingers, remain on the top three strings again, so you should get And then that goes back to the E minor. Then the A, again. And we just end on the D. Okay, so it's as simple as that really. Um, so really trying to get that motion with the right hand. What I do to start off is just pick the D chord and just try and get in that flow. Okay, every note should ring clearly, you should have a nice pulse going on. You should be counting really kind of one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how it should be sounding, that's the timing of the piece. Focus on making sure that your changes, there's, there's hardly any time because you want it to flow. You don't want to be going and then struggle to get to the G because that's going to delay you. you want... Okay, and that's really what we're aiming for. So make sure you're working on your chord changes as well as the nice fluidity of your right hand. It does help if you've got some fingernails, um, but um, it might be something you have to get used to. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.